So it's question and answer time. Does anybody have a question? Yes. Can you tell me about uh, acceleration in a stand-up act? What, what, do you, what do you mean acceleration? Uh, the act actually gain momentum until the end. Ah, well, yeah, that would be normally called pace. Okay. Uh, there's, there's, uh, it's one of the most important things you can do because it's pace and rhythm. And they're hard to talk about and they're, they're, they're almost impossible to teach. It's one of those things where they say, you know, I can teach you some of the fundamentals and give you ideas and stuff. This is one of those things where you really have to get out in front of an audience a lot. Uh, the first thing you want to do for that kind of a thing is the, the, the bit that you have, you got to make sure that it goes, is set up, punch, tag, 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 right? You might get another joke in there, but the idea is you're, you know, you it's, you get into a rhythm with these tags with these people. And you're just building on each one. It's like, you know, it's here. each one goes pop and pop. And you know, you're using, you're not even waiting for them to stop laughing. They go, ha, 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 take a breath, tag. Ha, ha, ha take a breath, tag. So it's when, when they're breathing out, they're breathing out a laugh and they're breathing in. And then when they breathe out, they're breathing out another laugh. It happens that quick. It's almost like you're breathing with the audience. You get this rhythm going with them and stuff, tags. Uh, your emotional intensity oftentimes will come up where it, it, the things, are, you know, the, what, what you're, whatever the story you're telling and stuff, it's, it's got more anxiety and stuff in it so that you're reacting stronger emotionally to it as well as it starts to build and stuff. And it really is to me about the rhythm. It's about that rhythm with those tags. You build on that over and over and over again, you know. And uh, common wisdom would tell you to end with your sex material. The comedians used to say, end with a dick joke, but I like to be less sexist. <laughs> so, so you, you know, it's sex material. You watch anybody, you watch Pryor, you watch any of the greats. At the end, they'll have a bunch of sex material at the end because it creates more anxiety in people and it's usually funnier, so on and so forth. And uh, it should keep getting more and more negative. It's getting worse. The story, the situation, getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And worse. And then you've got to find that final joke, that final joke that's the biggest laugh of all, okay? And that's what you're looking for in your show, and you position it all there. So at the end, you get this thing, you're this rhythm going, tag, 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 boom, last joke. Thank you. That's what you do. And so for me, that's what hecklers mess up. Uh, I, I was a street performer. I mean, people talking. I've you know, I've dealt with that my whole career. That didn't bother me. I can deal with it and talk to them and deal with the hecklers or whatever it was. I was never you know, never bothered me much. But you see, you, you're building. You got this rhythm, and you know the end of the show, and this audience is with you, and you're building and building, and all the last little bit, you're gonna you know, jump, 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 laugh, 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 laugh. You're two jokes away from that big final ending, and somebody heckles you. And the whole thing is boom. It's like that's what hecklers. That that's what upsets me the most. I mean, if it was at a quiet time in my show, I'd deal with it. You know, so to accelerate the pace of your show, okay, to to build that at the ending, and you should do that between each bit. In other words, just not the ending, but each bit. See if you can build it up to it has a last big joke. Drops down. Take a moment. Relax. Take a breath. Think about what you're going to talk about for a while. Give the audience a little break for a moment. It's okay. They've just laughed really hard. Every bit, every piece, whatever you want to call it, should, the best you can is to build it that way. And you know, so that this one, you, know, you end it. Okay. Then you build another one. Start, 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 start. You know, and then it big laugh, and then you let it drop. And you start again and build up. And the last piece, boom, the biggest laugh of the night. And hopefully applause. Sometimes you can even get that. But even at the end of pieces, you can oftentimes get applause if, if you really, really revved it up. So that that. Uh, but that's the same model every single time for the bit. The last bit should just be have the biggest laughs, uh, and, and that usually comes from doing sex jokes. So those are the techniques that I know for accelerating a show, uh, building the rhythm, uh, and until uh, you know, not just at the end, but every bit all by itself until you have a show that just is, is built the way that you want it to. And that's why we talk about craft. 
that's a big part of the craft, and few people are good enough to do that with a show. Only your top people can. So, uh, anyway, stay at it because it's doable, because we can talk about it, and there are techniques, and there are models for it to watch the comedians that can do it. So study as many comedians as you can, and notice how they build their shows, and, and the, how these techniques are being applied, or other techniques are being applied.